about the article that appears on lankacnews.com a singhala website on the internet uh, according to this uh, statement uh, issued by former you know the us loyal uh, you know finance minister loyal to the uk european union and the us and japan uh, mr mangala samarveer of mr ranil vikramasinghe's government uh, in 2015 his media you know uh, statement it says uh, uh, sri lanka's uh, uh, major commercial banks have uh, uh, like uh, stopped issuing uh, letters of credit uh, or they they are not issuing uh, letter of credits to importers uh, import letter of credits that means if someone wants to import anything uh, through it has to go through the commercial banks international division uh, imports department and international division the commercial banks have imports department so import departments opens uh, confirming the conditions of uh, payment uh, to the uh, you know the uh, the uh, exporter in the foreign country uh, and say okay please submit uh, these documents and upon that Uh, we will sub- submit the payment from uh, sri lanka so that's a uh, import a letter of credit so uh, th- those letter of credits are normally irrevocable that means once they are open they cannot be cancelled again for whatsoever reason so during this uh, you know the imf uh, bailout package uh, refusal and uh, due to political reason of creating a tamil homeland and in northeast of sri lanka and uh, then the congresswoman uh, passing a uh, uh, submitting a bill to the foreign affairs committee to create the initial ground by making a tamil home comple- uh, co- you know homeland concept in northeast through us congress law which is not applicable to us after all but still and then in this way the if the imf forgets its international obligations under world trade organization globalization policy and restrict the through other means uh, you know inside dealings with the central bank of sri lanka uh, unethical wrongful illegal staff who are not supporting the our country's elected leaders and then block the foreign uh, us dollar you know uh, Uh, obligations to uh, you know balance the uh, balance of payment and especially the trade account balance uh, of payment uh, trade account deficit and the trade account fluctuations uh, since sri lanka rupee is not a internationally accepted currency in the foreign ex- exchange markets and sri lanka still did the international imports uh, based on the understanding of uh, imf arrangements so under these circumstances of illegal activities from the us and the uk and the us based imf and other politically black organizations and the uk such organization the european union organizations i think the under these circumstances the the curtailing of the uh, existing uh, you know uh, issuance of the import letter of credits and thereby uh, you know uh, res- uh, you know preserving the current uh, foreign currency stock and uh, to match with the export proceeds uh, from the us dollar to that in that way i think the you know the commercial banks are more uh, and also because of the fitch rating the downgrading of the commercial bank uh, you know uh, credit rating to ccc negative uh, negative operating uh, banking operating environment uh, which they said is because sri lanka uh, investment bonds and the sri lanka development bond investments by the Uh, commercial banks uh, foreign assets portfolios held in foreign banks uh, in uh, ha- actually the sri lanka investment bonds and the sri lanka development bonds are issued by the central bank of sri lanka so because of this high percentage of nearly 7% of their total asset portfolio and also about 70% of their uh, total equity such uh, foreign asset diversion to sri lanka investments bonds and also sri lanka development bonds of the government of sri lanka the which rate made it a point to wrongfully you know uh, downgrade uh, the commercial banks uh, re- international credit ratings to ccc negative negative banking operating environment and they said it's linked to the sri lanka government's ccc uh, negative uh, uh, which is uh, currency issue default uh, rating so this is wrong because Uh, after all it's a political you know ploy uh, of the us and the uh, uk uh, and the eu uh, politicians who look into narrow political gains uh, in in this uh, opportunistic way so i think in these circumstances uh, sri lanka's commercial banks uh, 
uh, once they are foreign assets, uh, you know, borrowings are limited due to fixed rating downgrade and as a, you know, as a way of uh, further uh, deterioration uh, uh, can be avoided because in case fixed rating, ratings go further down below the CCC negative, which means the next level means, uh, which is almost like a default situation so then it's a big risk so therefore the commercial banks in Sri Lanka in order to avoid a further downgrading of the CCC negative assigned to the Sri Lanka commercial banks as negative operating environment by Fitch rating US company then in order to avoid a risk of further downgrading uh, the commercial banks have stopped uh, issuing of the import L L letter of credits and uh, confirming irrevocable LC import payments uh, hereafter so I think now not only that, they are postponing the request uh, from the industry and the schools and the universities, everybody. Uh, so here, the thing is, uh, uh, like the, um, the only option out, out of this issue is practically, you know, to go beyond the bureaucrats, uh, whether it's U.S. Congress, uh, okay, says, okay, there are U.S. Congress laws and the U.S. Justice Department and the U.S. federal laws by the, administered by the U.S. Uh, Supreme Courts and then the, uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, you know, the U.S. President's executive orders are there. Uh, so, we, you know, European Union also similarly executive, the European Union Parliament and the European justice system is there. So also in a democracy, in like U.K., the Bank of England policies, regulations are there and then beside the internationally recognized UN practices are there and also in the U U UK, the you know, Westminster House, uh, House of Lords, House of uh, Commons, uh, you know, laws and traditional practices are there and also the, uh, you know, UK House of Lords courts decisions and they are, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, you know, the presidents are there. So without making an issue of all these things, you know, in a democratic state, a democracy fails sometimes because of these reasons of democracy where the three pillars of a democracy, the the parliament, the, you know, the legislature, or the, uh, you know, the uh, judiciary, or the court system, or the executive, or the president, and the cabinet, and the public officials' decisions, nobody takes accountability to, uh, to work together, you know, in a situation like this in Sri Lanka faces today. Because this is why the democracy failed uh, to support the quick expansion of the economy, and that is why the China's Communist Party brought China up within a short period to this level. Uh, because uh, you know, not unlike in a you know in a democracy in a democratic state where in these institutions, the parliament, legislature, and the courts or the judiciary and the uh, you know the executive branch, the president and the cap prime minister and the cabinet are independent and nobody uh, you know intervenes in, in coordinating uh, affairs between this them because that is the doctrine of uh, balance of payment in Westminster democracy. The, you know, no one can intervene in others' affairs. So the parliament can't intervene with president. President can't intervene with the parliament. Parliament can't intervene with the courts. Courts can't intervene with the parliament. President can't intervene with the courts. Courts can't intervene with the president. So under this one, finally, the final accountability is nowhere. And that is why the U.S. economy collapsed and the U U.K. economy also broke, came down and also the EU economies are going down and that is why the Chinese economy went up because they don't have this system of democracy. They have a Chinese uh, Communist Party which takes the full accountability for overall, you know, the China's state legislature uh, dominated by the Communist Party and the Chinese judiciary system and also the Chinese uh, executive branch, the President Xi and his cabinet, state secretaries so they get a coordinated approach and finally accountability is clearly identified and work is carried out but in Chinese communist party system but in western democracy system that is not there because the doctrine of balance of payment itself prohibits in the Westminster system of such negotiation and it, it let the par parliament or the legislature and the judiciary and the court system and the president and the you know which is reflected in the executive branch, the prime minister and the cabinet to move independently believing that there's a god uh, you know, God will finally give the outcome. So that is why I asked at the beginning to prove if there's a God and such a system and it's, it cannot be proven up to now because COVID-19 had not gone down despite all the prayers in all Roman Catholic churches, all Anglican Christian churches, all uh, Muslim Islam mosques in Sri Lanka and also all Hindu temples, uh, all, all Judaism synagogues. No, COVID-19 had declined, right? There is more Delta variant, Lambda variant emerging now. So this is why I said the system in the US, UK, European Union, Canada uh, and Japan 
Australia, New Zealand is wrong because of this uh, Singapore and the Indo-Pacific region. Because of these reasons of, you know, it's a political, it's religious philosophy is wrong, and as a result, the political philosophy got wrong. As a result, its impact on the anthropological evolution became wrong. As a result, the economics evolution, economic and the business evolution development became wrong. So uh, now, in, in this way, you know the uh, the you know the uh, even the current cyber related ec digital economic evolution is wrong. Is on wrong principles. Soon, uh, I think if it continues, the cyber economy could move away from the uh, Northern American countries, European Union, and also you know Japan, uh, Indo-Pacific region, Australia, New Zealand, and other West allied nations to China and it allies. Uh, this is the reason. So under these circumstances, I, I think it is the West m must decide itself how to handle this because only option here is since Sri Lanka's commercial banks are declining opening import letter of credits and postponing them. You know, you're not, not just, they, they don't say no to people like that you know, in an aggressive way. They say, okay, we'll try and we'll try to do something and they try and when they fail again, they inform the people, well, this is the situation, we try to get some dollars, we can't get it because of the situation from overseas borrowing restrictions due to Fitch ratings or whatever difficulty they have, even though Fitch ratings don't order the US or the UK or the European Union banks not to borrow, not to lend to Sri Lankan men, but still there can be negotiation problems since it's like let open and the US and the UK and the EU believes in a God who will intervene to solve this problem. There's no such a God here. It's the humans who have to decide here, but the Western system prevents uh, the, any human intervention since the US president itself, US president Obama spoke about gun control when he was in retirement, right? And then U.S. President Trump said, okay, uh, you know, uh, uh, gun control uh, cannot be done uh, because of the U.S. Constitution uh, has a, you know, clause. Uh, the Constitution uh, allows the gun holding rights. And then the U.S. President Joe Biden said, uh, well, it's the Congress who must decide it. Then you can see this gun law also, U.S. refers it to the hands of the God. So that is why I ask, where is the God, uh, that situation? So this is why I recommend to U.S., to establish a U.S. financial force in these circumstances, because whatever the God philosophy or anthropological philosophy based on that, the economic evolution based on the God philosophy or the business development or the digital economy evolution in the U.S., U.K. and the Christian nations on the base and the Islamic and the Judaism nations on the God's philosophy, it doesn't matter to us. But what matters is the financial transactions must go on and without no final accountability like this, it might lead to a different situation, unexpected uncertainty. So this is why I recommend to the U.S. Strategic Command uh, to establish U.S. financial force to, you know, carry out the needed mechanism and make Sri Lankan rupee internationally convertible to dollars, U.S. dollars, and euro, and uh, Great Britain pound, and Japanese yen, uh, and also Singapore dollar, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. Swiss franc uh, and uh, you know uh, euro as well in international foreign exchange markets, international interbank markets like LIBOR in London and European markets uh, and everywhere in international markets, Singapore, Australia uh, and also Japan so that we can give rupees uh, and get the foreign currency uh, and then integrate our domestic monetary system based uh, and issue our rupee in a more you know control uh, way without just printing notes by the Central Bank of Sri Lanka based on the inside dealings with the U.S. Federal Authorities, Federal Reserve System, U.S. Federal Bank. Once we integrate our rupee monetary system, you know, currency to the international markets, our issuance of the Sri Lankan rupee will be under strict supervision to ensure no, you know, depreciation of the rupee happens to dollar, euro, Great Britain pound, Swiss franc or Japanese yen or Singapore dollar, Australian dollar or New Zealand dollar. So this is why I kindly request the U.S. Cyber Command to establish establish a U.S. financial force, you know, to carry out this mission. And you know, since there is no one intervenes here, in order to ensure the lives of the people are safe in Sri Lanka from uh, the so-called U.S. Congress promoted terrorist groups uh, that are operating under the pretext of cover uh, uh, of inter uh, liberation tigers of Tamil Nadu under the pretext of transnational government of Tamil Nadu from harming people in our country to make sure that Sri Lanka rupee becomes an internationally uh, trans, uh, you know, uh, convertible currency.